uh, my available listeners i thank you guys for all time for waiting at all time for me to drop this information but this one coming in presently now most of you may have might have gotten information about this or uh, nobody has actually given you concrete uh, information on what is actually happening but what i'm getting presently now is that um this thing the lady that means um amaka 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 uh, sombaga from the state in canada that uh, talked about poisoning um poisoning um this thing the yorubas the yorubas and the benins in edo states edo people in canada my people my people this one is just something else and again information we are gathering presently now from every newspapers in nigeria presently now everything is not it's not that funny any longer in the country presently now because it just looks as if somebody is actually putting threat of genocide in uh, threatening of genocide in uh, the people of nigeria in canada and many people have actually come out over this issue presently now over this issue that because of this threat over the issue of um, Amaka's threat, um, Amaka's threat on um, this in the Yoruba, the Yoruba nation, and then Edo people. So presently now, we all has been we all have been studying the internet presently now, going through basic every news that has been happening in the society, mostly in Nigeria presently now. Come to talk about um, this hate speech presently now. We know since all this white, um, um, some other tribe, some other tribe, just like the Igbo tribes and other every other tribe, have been complaining about um, this threat from different ethnic group, different tribes, and every other thing that have been complaining, threatening them one by one. And again, they have uh, they have the opinion that um, they have the opinion that that means the minister, the minister of foreign affairs, which is uh, Deborah. Dabiri, that is supposed to be that that are supposed she's supposed to take care of these issues is all this why but has done nothing about it she has done nothing nothing about it so seriously um the threats coming out from the uh, this in amaka and uh, so uh, so presently now is actually causing a lot of confusion because she, the, the viral video actually came up on on wednesday on a TikTok page, on a TikTok page, that she said that she's going to poison, that she's going to poison um the Yorubas and the Edos with otapia pia, otapia pia. So, uh, really, we with the society presently now we are not actually finding it funny. That is why I have to bring it out so that you guys will actually put your opinion over this issue presently, now. because people like Peter Obi, Peter Obi, the S, uh, this thing, the Labour Party candidate that came out has actually talked about it also he has actually talked about it he said uh this thing he, he said and uh, this is tribalism has no place in nigeria of our own dreams because if you carry tribalism into our own nigeria of our own dreams presently now nothing will work out so he's a leader that actually knows that to move the country forward we don't have to bring tribal sentiment into anything that we do so also the canadian uh, this in the national assembly has also written to the canadian uh, this in government also urging them urging them also to investigate and persecute uh, this in uh, amaka also over this issue because the issue the issue on ground presently now and people also People have taken to social media also because of um, Abike Dabiri, the foreign affairs minister that has not done anything since all this while. People have been complaining about uh, this thing, threats from, from Yoruba land. Threats from them and every other thing that people, they, he has, she has done nothing about it. But now she is at the forefront since it's not a real Yoruba person that is saying this any longer. Since it's an Igbo, Igbo, Igbo bigot that is saying it presently now, she's out for it presently now. That is why people online, uh, this is social media, come, uh, this in the, ha, has actually come out to say no to this. Say this, not, this is not the proper way to rule. And uh, this, uh, the agitator, Biafran agitator Sam Elipa, known as Prince, Prime Minister of the Biafran Republic government in exile, has vowed to defend Canadian-based Nigerian woman Amaka Patient Sogubog, who went viral 
for threatening to to harm Yorubas and Edo people. Because uh, my people, they are looking at it presently now because this it looks as if everything is one-sided. Because if the Yorubas, if the Yorubas are actually threatening the Igbos or other tribes in Lagos, and the ministers and the senators are doing nothing about it, the Nigerian government is saying nothing about it. It's all this way. Why? This one, uh, this thing, Amaka also made a comment about the same thing that you guys have been saying, and the Nigerian government is actually not looking at it as threat to them. Now, then why are they looking at this as threat? My able listener, that is why I want you guys to comment about this. Let's know how to iron this thing out. Because if the thing is one-sided presently now, we don't actually know where we stand presently now. We don't actually know where we stand presently now. If the National Assembly can easily make a bold, take a big, bold step presently now because of an Igbo, an Igbo lady is actually the one in the center base presently now making this statement presently now why a Yoruba, a Yoruba and other tribe have been making this threat over to an to Igbos and every other thing and nothing has been done about it. So my Igbo listener, I want us all to gather together on the comment section like this and drop something so that we know how to iron these things out so that we know a way to move in nigeria forward we have i have you yorubas i have other tribes on that on my blog on my blog line so i want all of us to put hands together like this and know how to sort this we should discuss this thing and iron it out know the better way to actually treat this is it right for abkw presently now taking this bold step is it right for the senate president now taking this bold step why this issue has been on ground all this while it, it shouldn't have gone up to this stage if caution has been taken if arrest has been done all this while you shouldn't have gotten up to this so my able listener that is why i'm bringing it up to you because the headline all throughout today all throughout yesterday and today also is basically about the threat of amaka amaka patients songbogo so we have to just know how to sort these issues out sort this issue out among ourselves because the main reason here is that because of nobody is talking the rule of law is not actually is not actually followed it's not actually followed in all these matters telling somebody that you are going to put um, other paper in his food and water it's not a small threat. It's a big threat, which all Nigerian knows. And a Yoruba person coming out telling them that they should start killing um, Igbo people on the streets. Say so when you start killing them like this, they they will run away and leave this place. Because if you don't do it, they will run away. And nothing has been done about it. Please comment or follow, and also like and share. You that is not our subscriber, please subscribe. And also on your notification because at all time like this, this issue is yet yeah, with this issue, we are just starting this issue, it has not ended, and it will not end like this. We have to look for a, a, a lasting solution to it. Thank you very much.